Camp Royal is the Rotary Youth Leadership Award Conference organized each June and hosted by Rotary International District 5160. The camp is designed to help highly motivated students develop skills to cope with today's issues and to help them learn how to accelerate their leadership potential. After canceling last year's camp because of the pandemic, this year the need is even greater to produce the highest quality virtual camp possible. Recently, the leaders of this camp sat down to discuss why this year's virtual offering could be the most important and impactful year to date and to urge Rotary to continue to support this worthy cause. Lane Hensley has been the director of Camp Royal for the past 17 years and spends the remainder of his year delivering leadership programs for countless Fortune 500 companies around the world. We're thinking today about these students, these young people out there that are going through so much that no other class has ever faced. And why is Camp Royal more important this year than ever? More important this year than ever because of the issues facing today's youth. Hensley and the team of presenters knew they had to convert the important Camp Royal content they're used to doing in person online. Camp Royal, we pride ourselves in lighting the spark in every student of why they should be a leader in the midst of so much suffering right now with uh, addiction and uh, suicide attempts are just going through the roof. The suicide rate for young teens has more than doubled in recent years, and the number of major depressive episodes among 12 to 17 year olds has increased by 50% in the last decade. This is only worsened by the pandemic and stay at home education where students have been missing out on important social interactions. Jeremy Bates, known as the Hope Dealer, has been a presenter at camp for several years. But how can we get to a group of young people that are clearly in need and help arm them with some tools and be like, how are we gonna get you to reintegrate back into this newness? Uh, because it'll all be new. Um, you know, they're gonna need new skills, some, some new things to think about, new perspectives to understand kind of getting all back into it. Sparking important conversation and dialogue about how these students can react during a time of uncertainty. Dr. Robbie Dotson, also a presenter, works to make those tough conversations about stress and anxiety feel fun and engaging as they learn about their behavior styles. Dotson specializes in the human factor profile, an activity that helps students discover who they are and why they think and react the way they do. For the first time in, in their lives, they're being stressed to the max. Their families are being stressed. This is the best time. It's such a, a training laboratory, a microcosm of what life is about. And they will get an opportunity to find out about the parts of themselves. For example, what are my innate core values? What are my parental core values? What are my social core values? What are my stress values? all of those things this is an opportunity for them to focus on the real message and camp attendees will also have an opportunity to engage in mindfulness sessions with cho yoder practicing mindfulness has been a part of camp for 20 years and it's definitely gone mainstream lately with several global companies and top ranked sports teams adopting its practice we will be able to help the kids have better spirit to conquer all difficulties in life the virtual camp will run for four days, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. each day with optional activities in the morning and afternoons. Normally, it has been just for incoming seniors, but this year they're opening it up to outgoing seniors as well in order to reach some of the students they missed last year. Zoom fatigue should not be a factor with the style of presenters and interactive nature of the content. After more than 100 virtual sessions this year, Hensley has discovered the formula for engaging participants and deriving the best virtual programs possible. We already have figured out the technology to seamlessly deliver the same kind of program materials that we've been presenting in the past, and we'll use every tip and trick in our virtual arsenal to make it interactive, to use polling questions, putting them into small group breakout sessions so they can, they can have the kind of connection that we're talking about. I believe even with online session, the students will find a way to connect with each other. You know, the idea of Zoom fatigue, these kids are on their phone and technology all the time. Uh, it's just, do you have the, the capability of 
of communicating something that's going to be valuable to them. And I've found through my own experience, when you do that, these kids are locked in. They want to see something that's different, even if it's on Zoom, uh, to be a part of that. Rotary District 5160 has sponsored Camp Royal for more than 40 years, and thousands of students have benefited. Rotary is a lifetime invitation to be a part of something bigger than yourself, and Camp Royal is the perfect place for young people to understand the power of Rotary. This camp began in 1979, and I'm proud to have here the Dick Highland Award, and it says passing the baton. So Dick passed the baton to me as uh, lucky enough to be part of this camp. He passed it to all of us as presenters, and it's in your hands to uh, take that baton and with it requires the weight of leadership for sure with great power comes great responsibility and we all feel the power of camp royal we all have the responsibility to deliver a camp that is transformational to them and we can do it all we need from you is to find those kids sponsor those kids and commit them to the time and we'll do the rest